It's the 3rd of April 2015 and I'm back in the house that Jack built, Plymouth Barbican, which is on South Side Street and I'm at Pinnacle Arts again. This time I'm catching up with a new artist called Fiona Moody and she makes handmade art cards uh, which can be bought locally and internationally. It's the 3rd of April 2015 and I'm back at Pinnacle Arts and I'm looking at some very interesting cards again. Uh, you're the artist. Well, what's your name? That's right. I'm Fiona Moody. Uh, yeah. My company name is Who Made Cards. Yes. Um, I've been making cards now for about uh, 10, 11 years. Uh -huh. Started off as a hobby like a lot of these things do. Yeah. Um, and uh, with a lot of interest, um, particularly with uh, a particular businesswoman, um, I've decided to turn my hobby into a uh, business. And it's um, been going... Well, ever since. Yes, yes, I've uh, done various things, you know, like craft fairs, started off doing that. Um, I'm now a regular at the community uh, market over in Saltash. I go there every Wednesday. Yes. And I've recently had the opportunity of moving into with the other artists in Pinnacle Arts in uh, the Barbican. And it's great that I've been here as well, isn't it? It is, yes, yes. I was going to say, I've got one or two uh, other people that I know that have got uh, units down here as well, so I'm uh, joining a, a community of people <coughs> that I know to some extent as well. Do you want to show some of your cards then? Yes, certainly. Um, I do various different techniques. Um, these are sort of decoupage, you can probably just see the... Yeah. What I always tend to do though, what with the um, problems with postage now, um, and, you know, the large letter... Um, I try not to make them too deep so people don't have the uh, have to pay the extra postage. Yeah. Um, but um, yeah, in the shop, just got sort of more or less a, a small. Um, Very much sample. like Clinton cards, so, well, better than Clinton cards, aren't they? Yes. Well, as I say, what we often often find in the um, national card shops they will advertise cards as being handmade yes. but very often if you look at them carefully you'll find that they're a printed card that's had one element added to them um, obviously mine sometimes can take up to an hour to actually make so uh, uh, just depending on um, and how much do you charge for a card i find that I try and keep them um, as reasonably priced as possible. Um, I must admit I tend to see what the, the nationals are charging yes. uh, and then um, you know, very often sort of size wise they are a similar price to those but obviously there is... It is difficult it because is, they take seconds to make your... That's right, hour, yes, yeah. yes, they have somebody so in a sweatshop somewhere <laughs> sticking one item onto a card whereas yeah. I can you know, sort of spend... <coughs> I mean, some of them don't take as long as, as an hour, but um, yeah. you know, especially if I'm doing um, to order, uh -huh. um, obviously I have to, um, you know, sort of think about. Do you do what wedding specials is. and things like that? Yeah, I also actually do wedding stationery or, um, or special parties. Yes, yeah. As I say, I, you know, if anybody wants anything that's um, card or. Um, event stationery related they yes. can get in touch with me either through the uh, the shop here or directly um, um, do you have a set pattern for your cards or is everyone totally different they do tend to be i mean i do at times use the same template if you like That's but obviously with different yeah. um themes to that yes uh so very often you'll find that there's a lot of cards that are they're made up to the same template, but um, you know they'll be totally different. Um, even actually doing the same card, uh, almost identical, if you do it in different colours, it can look you know very different um, to you know a, another one sort of thing as well. Yeah. So let's have, have a look at some more of your cards. Yes, yeah, certainly. Get, uh, turn them around a bit. <coughs> Just get your price list on there. Yes. So do you uh, deliver by post as well? I can do. I've actually had uh, cards go over to Australia. Yes. Um, and one thing that I'm, uh, I've had requested on a couple of occasions, this friend in Australia has actually asked me to uh, do a card for his mother for Mother's Day. And yes. actually she lives in um, Glasgow 
and has asked me to post it on. So I've actually... Um, so it's like Interflora with cards. That's right, <laughs> yes, yes. So that's something that I'm sort of toying with, uh, you know, sort of looking into of becoming uh, a service for expats that <laughs> don't want to have to pay the postage of sending a card from Australia, you know, New Zealand, wherever. Yeah. Um, they can get me to... Uh, or order a card through me and then I can post it here. It obviously makes the cost that much uh, cheaper. So you've been in Plymouth 13 years? That, yes, and coming up to this uh, this August, yes. And where were you before then? Um, originally I was from Leicester. Yeah, um, so up north. That's, well, yeah. yes, the Midlands, <laughs> which uh, depending on which end of the country or d either does or doesn't exist. Yeah. Um, but uh, I, we actually moved here from Hampshire, um, mm. my husband at the time, who Unfortunately, we've since uh, <laughs> lost through cancer. Oh, um, he, took a, to he took a job at the um, the dockyard, so we moved, the family moved down. Yes. Um, and uh, as our young son at the time had made friends at the school, we decided to stay. The two of us. So. Um, uh -huh. Yes. So you've got a website. Yes, website is www.whomadecards.com. Um, and and Facebook. Facebook, that again, yes, is Who Made Cards yeah. um, on Facebook. And if anybody wants to contact me via email, it's Fiona at whomadecards.com. Uh, do you have a pay, can people contact uh, a pay through PayPal? Um, I don't if at the moment. Overseas. Um, as I say, that's one thing, one of, one of the reasons why I haven't, uh, I don't tend to do um, online sales as such through the website yes. uh, but obviously um, you know I can do those uh, either people can post me a check if um, you know if they want to do a postal one or alternatively do a bank transfer yeah. but no I am actually at the moment looking into uh, the possibility of using either PayPal or some other the difference because pe you, you know people will post money internationally yes yes obviously and self-explains you really yes but I mean if you have your stuff on, a, on your cards up for sale on the website then you can do the made to uh, order. That's right. And people can buy through PayPal. Yes, you know, yeah. It's quite it's an easy process. Yes, yeah. Let's yes. just have another quick look at yes. your cards then. Yeah. <clears throat> like everything else in the uh, Pinnacle Arts, everything's vibrant and colourful and cheerful. That's right. I mean, uh, I shall actually be uh, doing a range shortly. I have a brother who um, is an artist himself. Yes. Um, and I intend for the summer months to do a, a range using his drawings um, from around the uh, the waterfront area. Yeah. So uh, hopefully they'll go down well with the uh, the tourists. Are you self-taught? Self yes. Yeah. Um. Yes. Yes. Unbeknownst to me, my uh, mother was making cards at the same time as I started, but uh, we're... we're Totally different. Um, Almost clairvoyancy coming through there. Yes, yeah. yes. So she's sort of stayed where I was when I first started, but she's happy doing it that, you know, just as a hobby, whereas, uh, you know, my techniques have changed. So you've never been to art college or no, anything like that? No, no, no. I've uh, most of my time has been spent in uh, retail or uh, admin jobs of one sort or another. So, yeah. uh, well, I like no. your work anyway. Thank you. So nice to talk to you. Yes, thank you very much. Well, thank you too. Lovely.